If you're watching this video, it's probably because you're a graphic designer, web designer, or motion designer. And today's video is about the seven laptops you can use if you are a graphic designer. So I wanna go ahead and jump right into it, so let's roll. Hey guys, this is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a video because of all the people that have been asking me about what kind of laptop should I get as a graphic designer. Now I wanted to make this fair, so I'm doing actual PC laptops and Apple laptop. I'm just gonna do one today, but we're actually gonna compare the two and we're gonna talk about the seven things that you should be thinking about when buying your laptop. So I actually spent the last week studying, researching, looking into processors, looking into graphics cards and all these different aspects of laptops. And at the end of the day, just for my own preference and for my own recommendation, I wanna highly just encourage you guys to go for the Apple because it's gonna be reliable, it's gonna be consistent, and it's gonna have everything you could possibly need. And I wanted to tell you some things that you really need to consider when purchasing a laptop. Number one is the color accuracy. If you're doing graphic design, motion design, video production, web design, you need to make sure that the colors that you're using, whether it's in print or web, are accurate. And how you can know that is by actually getting an IPS color display. Look up the keyword IPS in the descriptions, you'll see it there. But the size and the resolution, anything over 1080p by 1920 is great, but that's again why I love the MacBooks is because they have the retina displays, which are beautiful. I would recommend anything from a 4K to a 1080p retina display. These are gonna be the best for you. They're gonna be the most accurate. And that's gonna be really, really important when choosing the right laptop is having the right color accurate display. The second thing that you need to be looking for, and this is almost equally as important, is the processor. Nowadays, processors are getting faster and faster and faster. At the very bare minimum, you wanna find an i5, but I would highly recommend an i7 or an i9 processor. The key here is cores. The more cores, the merrier. You wanna get more cores in your laptop. It's gonna be faster, it's gonna be more responsive, especially if you're doing any video editing or high graphics, high-end graphics files that are really, really large, like even photography. You need to make sure that you have a very fast laptop and having a good processor is the key to that. So anything from a 2.4 gig all the way up to a 4.2, something like that, is gonna be your kind of threshold. And this is a really, really important piece that you need to know is just get a good computer with a good processor. The third thing, and you probably knew this was coming, is your graphics card. I'm gonna to touch on this a lot in this video. We're gonna talk about graphics card. You have the Radeon, AMD, Radeon graphics cards, and then you have the actual Intel graphics cards, which are integrated, and then you have NVIDIA. NVIDIA is really the king of graphics cards. That is gonna be my absolute go-to if you're gonna get a PC-based laptop. Uh, I use my Apple, so I don't really care what's in there, to be honest. I just know it's gonna be fast enough for whatever I need, but the NVIDIA graphics cards are really, really good. They're very, very fast, and it's actually gonna have what's called hardware acceleration. So thankfully, some of the video editing softwares like Adobe Premiere have this Mercury uh, system inside of it that actually helps, but it's really important that you get a good graphics card that has at least a gig to two gigs to some of them now I've seen that have even eight gigs of DDR. Actually, it's dedicated video memory, and that's a really important piece to this is you wanna make sure that you have a really good quality graphics card. And all these laptops I'm gonna show you guys today are gonna have variations of different graphics cards inside of them. Some of them are integrated, some of them are, are external, but it's really important to just have something that's gonna keep up with all the graphics that you're doing. Number four is your hard drive. This is a really important piece is the hard drive that's in your computer is either gonna speed your systems up or it's gonna slow you down. Traditional hard drives have moving parts. They have these little disks inside that spin. Because they have moving parts, they are slower. So I wanna recommend that you get something with a solid state drive. They're up to 10 times faster than a traditional hard drive. And that's why a lot of computers and a lot of companies nowadays are making computers with solid state drives. They are more expensive, they are more costly, but it's important that your stuff is gonna be safe and it'll be a lot safer and a lot faster to get a hard drive that is a solid state. If you're a graphic designer, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of large files, so having to unsync files from Dropbox or from, uh, from Google Drive is a pain in the butt. So you wanna make sure you get enough space to actually be able to hold the basic information that you need quickly on your laptop, but it's really not a ton. If you get a half a terabyte, 500 gig hard drive or a terabyte, that should be adequate. If you're doing a lot of video, you may wanna get like a, a terabyte or two terabyte at the very most. 
but you don't need a huge amount of space, especially now since a lot of stuff is stored on the cloud, like I uh, like iCloud or um, Google Drive or Dropbox. These are really, really big ones to use. And then what I do as well is I actually use my external drives, my solid state external drives, and I grab stuff off and I put them on there as a backup as well. I've talked about this in previous videos, but this is really, really important. Number five is your RAM. Not like an actual RAM, but the RAM that's in your computer, you may have never heard about this before, but RAM is really important. It's the actual memory within the computer that helps your hardware and everything run. And the lower amount of RAM you have, the slower your computer is gonna be. They still sell computers, I couldn't believe it, I was looking and researching. They still sell computers with like four gigs of RAM. Like I think browsers nowadays take almost four gigs of RAM sometimes. So you wanna make sure you get at least eight preferably 16. I think we have a computer that has about 64 gigs of RAM, which is a lot, but that's because we're doing a lot of video editing. So make sure you get at least 16 gigs of RAM at the very bare minimum, get eight gigs, and you can usually upgrade these things. A lot of the computers that I'm gonna show you guys today are upgradable all the way up to 64 gigs of RAM. And number six are the features. There's tons of features, every laptop is different, but some of these laptops are gonna have USB 2.0. You don't want a laptop with USB 2.0, you wanna go with 3.0, and preferably USB-C. Now I have a 2017, 2018, I believe, maybe even 19, I think it's about an 18 MacBook Pro, and it still has the USB 3.0, so I do not have the USB-C, but a lot of the laptops nowadays are getting made with USB-C, so I really recommend that. You see some of these new phones don't even come with a typical USB, they come with a USB-C. So USB-C is really, really popular, and this is an important feature that you wanna to try to get in your laptop if you can afford it. One of the next features that you really need to be thinking about is having a backlit keyboard. If you're in low light or you're working on your laptop while you're in bed, or you're working at it on the go, it's really nice to have that backlit keyboard. That's one of the things that comes stock on the Apple laptops. And it's just something that you should really take into consideration because it's nice to be able to have your keys lit up and to be able to see rather than just being dark. You might be able to save a couple bucks, but it's really gonna make it more difficult for you if you're unless you're just working in the middle of the day on your laptop. But I would really recommend that you get a laptop that has the backlit keyboard. The next thing you need to have is some good audio, especially if you're gonna be working with video editing at all, you need to make sure that you can hear the audio, that you get a good quality audio, like Dolby or something like that. Um, there's a bunch of different companies out there that make laptops with really good audio, and I'm gonna actually share some of these here in a minute, but it's really important that you have that audio set up on your computer, this is a really big deal. Now number seven, and this is the last one before we jump into the computers, is the style. Some of these laptops are super clunky, super generic looking that you'll see out there. The ones I'm gonna show you are actually really nice. I wanted to pick laptops that kind of fit all of the seven things that I'm talking about today, that looked good, had a decent price, performed great, and we're just overall gonna serve you at the highest level possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into those laptops. All right, so the first laptop that I'm gonna recommend is the HP Envy X360, and it's a 13-inch laptop, 13.3 inches. This is a full HD display. It has the IPS, like I talked about inside of there, which is really, really good. You're gonna get some good color accuracy. Uh, it's a touchscreen laptop, so it's actually a two-in-one. So you can actually use a stylus probably. I don't think it'll have the pressure sensitivities, but you're actually gonna be able to use it like a tablet, which is really neat. A lot of the laptops are going this direction, and a number of the ones that I'm picking for you guys also are going this direction. As you can see here, this thing is the 11th gen of the i7. So this thing has evolved many, many times over. It's got eight gigabytes of memory or RAM, as I was talking about. It has a 512 gigabyte solid state hard drive, pale gold, which is interesting. It must be the color. It's got the backlight keyboard, as I mentioned. It even has a fingerprint reader, Thunderbolt display, which is neat, and Wi-Fi 6, which is the most, which is the latest Wi-Fi, so you can get some quick speeds on your internet, which is really, really great as well. Uh, it does run on Windows 10, and there's some other specs that you can see within here. What I wanted to show you is I scroll down, and you can look at these things here on your computer, or on Amazon, if you search these computers. As you scroll down, and you'll see where is it at here? Graphics co-processor. So what's gonna be different here is you're gonna have some laptops that are gonna have integrated processors. So some of these laptops are gonna have internal 
graphics cards and some of them are going to have external this one actually has an internal one and i did a lot of research on the iris xe graphics card and it actually is really good for lightweight gaming but it's also going to work great for graphics so this is going to be more than adequate for what you need and this computer here comes in at a whole whopping price of 878 bucks on amazon i'm not an affiliate of amazon in any way i'm not getting paid for this but this is a really really good price this is something to consider now number two is the asus which is who makes a lot of motherboards the asus rog zephyrus g14 this is a 14 inch so slightly larger it is vr ready which is virtual reality if you don't know what that is it has the full hd display it is a gaming laptop eight cores like remember i talked about having more cores and it has the amd ryzen 9 which is great and then it has the beat i7 i don't know what exactly what beat i7 but i have a feeling it's really really fast has 16 gigs of ram one terabyte solid state drive which is amazing the backlight keyboard uh, it has the wi-fi 6 has the usb c remember we talked about usb c and it has the ge force rtx 2060 graphics card inside there which is really 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 fast which is awesome and this one is a little bit more but it's 1299 bucks and i really think it's a pretty nice looking computer um it's not as nice as apple i'm just uh, probably a little biased at this point but it's a really nice laptop and again if you scroll down you can see here where it talks about the graphics processor i think it's a little further there you go graphics nvidia so this is an external nvidia ge force rtx 2060 max q this is going to be more than adequate it's a dedicated video card this is going to be fast enough computer it'll be great for graphic design motion design or web design laptop number three this is the hp elite dragonfly home and business laptop which is also a two-in-one now it has the lower grade um uh, processor inside of it it only has four cores so about half the amount of power uh, but it does have 16 gigabytes of ram which is great it has the terabyte solid state drive the intel U uhd um, 620 which is nice it has a 13.3 inch monitor so it's going to be a little bit smaller than the last one 1920 by 1080 but you'll notice it doesn't say ips in here i don't believe it has the ips i think you're going to miss out on that and it definitely doesn't say anything about wi-fi 6 um, it definitely has Bluetooth, which is great. It has a webcam, which is another feature you should be thinking about um, unless you're going to use an external program for your webcam. And then it has a USB hub. So overall, you can pick the different options in here. This laptop runs about 1800 bucks, but I wanted to show you this here. So this one also has an integrated, so you can see it here, card description, an integrated Intel graphics card. This is probably going to be a little bit lower end but it's still going to keep up with the the basic graphics and and uh even a little bit of video editing i wouldn't do after effects in this just premiere but this is a good computer this is going to be something if you're trying to get in and get a nice two-in-one laptop uh, i would highly recommend this one all right number four let's jump over to dell uh, dell has been a big player in the computer laptop game for many many years and this dell xps 15 is a great one it's a 15.5 15.6 inch just like my macbook pro um, it has the i7 in it it's got the 10th generation so not the 11th generation 32 gigs of ddr4 ram which is awesome the terabyte solid state drive and it has a 4k uhd display which is really really powerful has the 500 nit touch nvidia ge force 1650 ti graphics card which is fast it is screaming fast with four gigabytes of dedicated video memory it looks like here so this is a really really nice one but again you're going to be here right here at the same pricing as a actual macbook pro i don't see a huge difference between this and the macbook pro in terms of the pricing and overall i would probably just for me personally i would go with the macbook pro uh, i would like this computer i think it would fit your needs but if you have this kind of money to spend why not just get a mac unless you're just sworn enemy against mac and you don't want to do a mac computer uh, i would really recommend this computer because i think it's great it also has a dedicated graphics card so an external it's built into it but it's dedicated it's not like built into the motherboard uh, and it's an nvidia gtx 1650 ti this is a great one highly recommend this laptop all right let's get to number five number five is an acer believe it or not i actually started my career as a graphic designer on an acer until i got out of the car and i dropped it on the ground and cracked the screen had to use an external monitor on that thing for like six months before i could afford to buy a new one trust me i know what it's like 
to have struggles and to not be able to afford an expensive computer my acer was like bottom of the barrel lowest level acer you could get and i was able to make it work this acer here is probably the coolest acer if i didn't have a macbook i think i would probably go with this one to be honest this is the acer concept d3 easel like how they spell easel there um it actually is convertible creator laptop i'll get a little bit more into detail on this but it's got the intel i7 as well ge force gtx 1650 you'll notice the max q just like the other one has a 14 inch full hd screen has gorilla glass which is going to be awesome from scratches and breaks and things like that you won't run into the same issues that i had it's got pantone validated this is a graphics person's computer with a hundred percent srgb which is awesome 16 gigabytes of ram 512 uh, 512 gigabytes of solid state drive and it has a wacom pen which means it will pick up the pressure sensitivities you can draw on it and it's super super neat what i wanted to show you here and what i wrote down in my notes to go over as you'll see here this actually has six different positions that you can position this laptop check this out so here we go you can see it right here it has laptop float share display pad and stand it's got the color accuracy guaranteed it's got a lot of the features that you're going to need backlight keyboard uh, it's just a phenomenal computer out of all the ones i'm going to show you today on the pc style if you're a graphic designer this is what i'm going to tell you to, to check out first you can get some uh faster versions of this i think they have a faster version yeah it looks like they do but this one right here is only 1299 bucks this is probably your best balance it's got a lot of features it's got the pen it's got a lot of the things that you're going to need so i highly recommend this one this is the one that i would probably pick out of all of them so far and we're going to go ahead and jump on to number six number six is a lenovo thinkpad uh this is kind of a little bit more of a clunkier it doesn't have the same style as some of these other ones that i've showed you thinkpad is kind of a more of a uh worker work horse kind of laptop it's not the coolest looking one but it actually works really well this is the p1 the thinkpad p1 gen 3 15.6 inch full hd screen has the ips so it'll get you good clarity good uh, color matching anti-glare dolby vision which is awesome uh 500 nits which is part of the graphics card it's got the i7 has six cores so some of these other ones i showed you had four uh, which is great and it's got the nvidia quattro so this has got an integrated uh, graphics card as well with 32 gigs of ram so this is a fast 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 computer and it has the one terabyte solid state drive with windows 10 and it's also 1799 bucks for just a few hundred dollars cheaper than what a macbook pro would cost you and i think they are raising the prices on the macbook pro so this is probably a three to four hundred dollar difference between the two but if you're just trying to save a buck this could be a really great option for you now the last one and i told you i was going to make this the very last one is the one and only macbook pro not a lot of computers can hold a candle to the macbook pro they've really designed designed a beautiful piece of art and a beautiful piece of technology this is why a lot of graphics people use these it has an eight core processor 16 inch retina display which is beautiful eight terabyte solid state drive the amd radeon see they have good graphics Nadeon, adm amd radeon pro 5000 m series graphics card which is super fast screaming fast and up to 64 gigabytes of ram with an incredible sound system i can tell you personally i use my audio on my computer and on my ipad pro all the time the audio on these things is amazing you can go deeper and deeper into the specs and learn more about the display it'll talk about the brightness 500 nits it'll talk about all these other things but these are the computers that i would recommend if you want a great computer for graphics this is the master list i hope this one will give you exactly what you need i have had a lot of people ask me this and so i wanted to answer this question i really love this types of topics and i want to record more content around computers and technology and some of the things that we're using on a day-to-day -day basis so if there's another technology you want to know about maybe it's lighting maybe it's cameras maybe it's audio whatever that is let me know drop a comment i want to hear from you i'm just really grateful that you were along on this journey with me so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button if this helped you i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video i'm adrian boysell and as always keep looking up